God, tell us our so that God sorted your internet. <laughs> <laughs> I got it right here. I've got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's obviously capitalism, God. He's mad at my shirt. You may need to phone an Indian for help. Make sure you have three sets of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was not making a dick shape with my arms. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, I worry about you all so much. Were, were you giving yourself a self high five? <laughs> <laughs> with the nitro girls. <laughs> Have, have you have you shown uh, your live stream those fucking Diamond Dallas Page pictures and the the special theme that you and your friend designed? That's <laughs> terrible. There's some things that must remain secret in your life. Oh, you're not gonna show them. <laughs> That'd be a great thing, right? Oh, oh no, the uh, like the you only live once and stuff. Yeah, yeah, those pictures. Yeah, they're on the yourbadadvice.com website. Oh, well, you showed it to them. Okay. Yeah, people know about these pictures. All right. That's good. So, there you go. You're you're still not blaming that on me, anyway. That's you and your friend. <laughs> I want to put your name on every one of them. <laughs> Great, just what I always wanted to ask you. Well, Grimmith, it's all for love. <laughs> <laughs> I did not just pelvic thrust the screen. What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> uh, apparently, it's all for love, and then you thrust. <laughs> so yeah, here we go on the uh, on the your bad advice on the funny picture section. There's Diamond Dallas Bond, <laughs> which. Uh, apparently, SKS and his uh, friend uh, were talking about this, and then he wanted to uh, put the blame for this entire thing on me. <laughs> this is actually incorrect. See, so you got you only cut once. These are pretty good. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I, I think they're funny too. I mean, you you just cannot. You got the diamond cutter, <laughs> self i five IMAX. DDP down the barrel. <laughs> Another self I five, and then uh, a look less. Look for less. Can't afford the real suit by Tom Ford or the Omega Watch? No matter. We got the perfect frugal alternatives for every entry level agent. Oh, God damn it. Just put it up there. <laughs> there, you, there you go. <laughs> I think it's amazing. Oh, man. I mean, <laughs> he's so happy in that picture. I, I like all six of the images. I really do. <laughs> I mean, he just... You know, th this one was creative as well. Yeah. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> that one he should actually send in to him. And, uh... I, I think that that one's one of the best ones. I know it's simple, but, you know. It's simple yet complex. This is a little small, but... <laughs> Sliding and shooting a gun while having a cigar in your mouth. Well, uh, looking in a completely different direction. <laughs> his fucking head in that one is big as his body. <laughs> Oh, oh! Is there more down here now? Oh, there. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got more. I just I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one's great. Oh, Double J is becoming a star. Five, five. October twenty-sixth at IMAX. 
What do these people look out of place? <laughs> Who could it be? Oh, what was this one? Which individual looks more colorful? Look for less. The Diamond Dallas Page suit for myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was reading out. Can't afford the real suit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> that's pretty good. That that That's amazing. You only cut once. <laughs> oh. So hard. Have you watched any more wrestling shit? <laughs> no, not really. I went through that phase for like three weeks where I like went back and watched like all the pay-per-views. Hmm. <sighs> I figured I, I needed to keep an update on that. <laughs> we need, need to have an intervention or something about it. No, I I, uh, I stopped it. No intervention? I don't need an intervention. I did start TiVoing some of the episodes that come on now, and then I, I really stopped myself. I was like, this is going too far. <laughs> That's the moment where you decide to just go. I was like, I can't do this. Uh, of course, that's gonna pick no, no. <laughs> TiVo, DVR, whatever, Calizard. Grimmins, you bring all your groupies here and they make fun of me. I don't appreciate this. <laughs> what do you mean I bring all my groupies here? <laughs> I didn't tell anyone you were broadcasting. It's like I say anything and they defend you. It's like, Grimmins promotes you. Stop being so mean to him. <laughs> And you see, other people recognize the fact that I sound like a robot. The, the, the call quality is bad after what transpired on your end. Uh, Apparently you don't hear it because you never hear anything. I just, you know, as a teacher, you know, you just tone some of those things out. <laughs> You're tone deaf. That's the problem. <laughs> Grimmins is amazing, SKS. You should listen to him. <laughs> Look at this shit. <laughs> I'm going to get that put on a shirt and just wear it around. It's going to say, Grimith is amazing. You all should listen to him. SKS, you need to train your own groupies who show up in his streams and bow out of them. I haven't broadcast in like a year, so that would be irrelevant. Hey, you was, you was broadcasting the other night. I tried to come in there and be really supportive, and you just, ah, yeah, he's not bad. <laughs> that, that was Lethal Feline who was doing a live broadcast. That wasn't me broadcasting anything. You were still talking. Yeah, because I was playing an action game. I didn't have my eye on the chat. I don't have time to look at people chatting while I'm playing Left 4 Dead and shooting zombies. That was the Dressed up as Illinois, Kermit, Kermit the Frog. I was. Fucking crazy. Look at this. He has great advice and he's very wise and knowledgeable. You could learn a lot from Grimoth. You're, you're all killing me now. They're, they're, yeah, they're trolling you, FKS. Let it go. Oh, is that really what that is? I'm just mad. <laughs> Hell if I know. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with those people. They need a little self high five in their life. Uh, maybe they do that too much. <laughs> oh, realtor. Like SKS should just like Grimmett do Let's Plays for him. <laughs> 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 oh. We're about to hit 13 hours, and that's what somebody tells me. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I just... <laughs> oh, Listen to him. He's not beating Star Zoo. I thought you beat Star Zoo. I'm never playing it again. That counts as being it, right? Oh, but I thought you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat him. See, there you go. He so did. I remember watching that. I thought. I thought it was a little sketchy at the end. Oh, good lord! There, so I don't sound like I, I, I'm on a fucking cell phone anymore. Who is this SKS you speak of? I thought this was Grimace Stream. 
<laughs> it's okay. SKS, just take these unsupported viewers and forward them. Take this job and forward it. <laughs> I don't know where that comes from. I just felt like saying it. Yeah. <laughs> I came here for Grimoth. Who is this guy? Get him off the camera. Well, since he's the broadcaster, he can show whatever he wants. Yeah. He can even show things that violate Twitch's terms of service, and you couldn't stop it. Which brings me to my next lesson. Let's talk about Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> All right. What do you have to say about Theodore Roosevelt? Here is Grimma's hero. <laughs> I don't know about hero. But, uh, he's certainly not SKS's hero, that's for sure. Theodore I like Teddy Roosevelt. I don't like a lot of the stuff he passed, but, you know. Motherfucker got shot and still continued his speech while he was bleeding inside his shoe. Oh, here's a... here's. I love pictures like this they put on here. They're so awkward. It's like a, a president who's fishing on a boat. You know, because that shows him being very presidential. Yes. Look at me, I'm fishing on a boat. <laughs> you, you were showing modern pictures there. You gotta, you gotta go with the old uh, Milliard Fillmore and Franklin Pierce. <laughs> That's who everyone wants to hear about. Here's even a bigger book. <laughs> <laughs> it has the picture of, uh, I think it's John Tyler and his sister looks like a man. Oh, oh, I'm interested in seeing this. I think it's this one. It might have been the other one. <laughs> Play the JFK assassination. Oh, no, it, it probably is this one because it's going into them. It's going into them? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> They're being violated, all of our presidents. <laughs> no! Here's, here's Grimma's favorite. Let's do the Trail of Tears with Andrew Jackson. <laughs> Fucking Andrew Jackson was a was a badass president too. One of my uncles, the carny uncle who tried to rob a, a federal bank and got sent to prison for a long time. Andrew Jackson's his favorite president. Oh, oh it's the other book. Oh well, some other time. <laughs> some other time we will learn about John Tyler and his masculine sister with SKS. She's in the other book, but I don't feel like. You know, searching, there, just searching through. See, there you go, Calizard. SKS and JFK are all three letters. They must be related, and because you said the number three, Half-Life 3 has been confirmed. <laughs> you all figured everything out. Yes, Psychobots, I, 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 I too have family members who have engaged in all sorts of interesting activities in life. Now... Another woman who looked kind of manly is uh, Dolly Madison. I mean... Oh, the, uh, the, the lady responsible for saving important things from the White House before the British government... Well, the, the she, British troops seized it. She had some manliness going on. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, uh, John Quincy's uh, woman was kind of beefy. Well, she had to be to support John Quincy Adams, and John Quincy Adams needed the support after he pissed off Andrew Jackson. That's for goddamn sure. I will never forgive them for all of their haranguing killing my wife. I will hate them till the end of days. Because of how uh, fucking Adams and Clay and all those other people were like, Oh, the, the, their marriage isn't official because they never officially dissolved the first marriage that she had with her first husband. Oh, oh I, I was wrong. It's uh, James K. Polk's wife. It says here that she was strikingly handsome. Oh. Yeah, I could go. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Strikingly handsome. I mean, she looks like a man. Uh, that's that's a guy with a wig. I'm just saying. Well, well, you'll never know, SKS. You'll never know. No. Nope. You have to. So sometimes, whenever you're when you're when you're studying historical documents, you have to trust the people who have provided those historical documents for you. You have to take a leap of faith. That's true. 
I, I do have a wig I could wear. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's got a top hat with it. You gonna dress up for that for your kids on Halloween or what? <laughs> no, I wore it for uh, Rockstar Day. I posted a picture of it on Facebook. Rockstar Day? What? On Spirit Week, we had five <laughs> random ass days. Fucking Spirit Week. I can't fault that since, you know, my high school had fucking spirit weeks too, but I never participated because I thought they were dumb. You never saw that picture, Grimmeth? I figured you would have saw it shit all over yourself because it was so funny. No, I don't I don't use Facebook. I would have never looked at your Facebook. Oh my. Here, let me let me see if I can uh Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Calizard, I, I very much enjoy Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. Very enjoyable games. Let's see if I can find this here, and I will add it. Oh, goodness. My nipples are hard just thinking about it. <laughs> oh, good. Um, um. <laughs> I love how your eyebrows just shot up. <laughs> I don't know. I need an adult. <laughs> I am an adult. Let me uh, shrink this here. What good is wood, anyway? There you go! <laughs> oh. That was Rockstar Day. <laughs> <laughs> No words, eh? <laughs> I share way too much shit with the internet. <laughs> How do I unsee this? <laughs> there are no words to describe those plants. Those pants were amazing. I am flummoxed. I am bereft of words. <laughs> I <laughs> flabbergasted, stupefied, dumbfounded. <laughs> I mean, I was even better on a. I thought Cowboy Day. I was even better. <laughs> Now you did show me this one. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> you did show me that one. I did not see the Rockstar one. <laughs> That's that. The Rockstar one. I mean, this 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 is amazing. Wrong way. But... Confirmed SKS sexier than Pope's sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That mm. mustache. Cowboy Day was amazing. What other days did you... <laughs> I only dressed up for those two. Uh, one was like football team day where we wore like the kids' jerseys. So I wore number 69. <laughs> of course you did. Well, some kid was like, he was like, you know, uh, will you wear my jersey? No teachers ever want to wear it. And he goes, I don't think you'll think it's a big deal. And I said, sure, whatever. And then I walked down there and find out it's that. And I was just like, what the hell? Who cares? That that's why no one wanted to wear it, right? Exactly. And all the other teachers are like, are you really going to wear that? And I was like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, if this kid feels better because somebody wears his jersey finally, then whatever. Of course, the football coach was the only one to come up. He was like, oh, you got 69 on, huh? <laughs> so, of course, you know, the most immature person is the... That's who we want teaching our young men. Absolutely. Without a doubt. <laughs> that 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 is great, SKS. Oh man. <laughs> do do you have any other wonderful moments you need? No, that, that that's it for the day. No. How I think for Halloween I'll wear a kilt, so <laughs> Are you sure that's a good idea? I've done it before. I, I know you've done it before. You've told me. Are you sure it's a good idea? 
You're at a new school now, let's get Well, there was a teacher last year that wore one every Friday, so I figure if he can do it every Friday, I can get away with it on Halloween. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I guess that's, I guess, you know, that's a reasonable interpretation. Psycho Butts by Spooky Ghost, do you mean clan member? <laughs> hey, hey. He's a pointy Will you wear it how ghost. it's supposed to be? Will you wear it how it's supposed to be worn? Yes, I go free balling. <clears throat> I don't think you should play basketball with a kill desk cam. No, that's <laughs> a, a completely valid interpretation. Alright, I, I have something to provide here for the chat. Uh oh. Yep. What did you do? <laughs> Nothing. What have you done? <laughs> Thanks, Grimmett. <laughs> yep. I, I took a screenshot of <laughs> it. Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Are you trying to destroy me? <laughs> I'm doing a great job of that on my own. I meant to say. Now we can't see your monopoly in risk sets. That's great, right? <laughs> That's like a before and after transformation, right? <laughs> oh my god. Wearing your Johnny Cash t shirt. The, the, I, I don't even want to know what I want to call that jacket that has the wrist frills. Those are spikes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I guess they are. How about that? I guess I'm so distracted by the pants. The pants are amazing. When you're banana donging it in pants like that, you're awesome. <laughs> you're banana donging it? I, I always have my vocabulary exercised and broadened whenever I, I spend time with you, SKS. We have the DSF, we have the banana dongy. <laughs> And people criticize me for using upscale words. My goodness. Banana dog. <laughs> well, another teacher, he goes, you got a cup. <laughs> it was hilarious. He walked up, he goes, you're wearing a cup, aren't you? And I go, no. He goes, oh, God, you're banana dog. And then... <laughs> means as kids before I think about it. You have to have a banana to understand if you have a banana dog. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like bananas. They don't taste good. <laughs> he means a curvy cock. <laughs> he means a curvy I may not be able to grow hair on my head, but, you know, there's other things that work. <laughs> what does curvature have to do? <laughs> All of a sudden, we picked up ten more viewers because we started talking about banana dong. I'm glad I'm not running my air conditioner for this. What a great sacrifice. <laughs> uh, yes, Party Commissar. People your age are teaching children. Conversation status swirling around the drain. It sounds like SKS and I every time we talk. That's, I was about to say, there's no difference. You all are just getting to see it un unedited right now. <laughs> Every time we play a game, it's merely an excuse for us to talk to each other. <laughs> Captain Pete, I teach children too. It's okay, Captain Pete, we understand. He's like a sad face, like, aww. Captain Pete and I get to share war stories all the time. <laughs> he gets those dirty northern children, though. <laughs> Now, SKS, this is where we're going to have to talk about Kentucky and its location <laughs> and status. <laughs> or a commonwealth. 
A podcast with Grimmeth. Good lord. What would it be called? Bullshitting? <laughs> Today's secret word is banana dong. <laughs> what are we, like, Sesame Street? What Dewey, the Dewey Herman had the word. Oh, okay. Are you sure Sesame Street didn't have special words? Today's word is, it sounds like something they'd have. <laughs> Bert, no means no. <laughs> the Get Fuck Show. Are you going to play Left 4 Dead 2 with SKS next? I, I don't think SKS uh, knows how to play action games. I don't own Left 4 Dead. I know how to play action games. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> this stream is brought to you by the curvy cock. <laughs> oh. I hope not. Well, there you go. Someone can buy SKS Left 4 Dead 2, and then it's possible maybe there's a 5% chance, I'm being serious with that, that it could be played. And then there's a 95% chance you'll just take the game and never play it. I play all my games. That's, that's right. Even if he does play it, you may never, ever see it happen. Except Revolutions 2012. Somebody bought me that. And I told him that my computer couldn't even run it. You didn't know I could play an FPS? Well, I don't record myself playing FPSs. Those are pleasure games. Pleasure games. Pleasure games. Yeah. You know what else sounds like a pleasure game? The banana dong simulator. <laughs> With the wavy again. And he's just done. I'm done until fucking Calazar said something so incredibly fucking stupid I want to pick up my fucking chair. What the fuck do you mean it's the first the fucking chair? <laughs> You're in first person mode! You shoot! <laughs> 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 and that just transpired in my live stream. <laughs> Fucking hair waved around my glasses nearly went flinging off my nose. I will have you all know that Left 4 Dead 2 was just given to me. <laughs> it was? Yes. I... No... <laughs> no words. <laughs> yep. Best. After stream party ever. <laughs> yep, that's what this is. This is the after party of we just had some big night and everybody's just hanging around bullshit and that just happened. So, so who gifted it to you? <laughs> I don't know if he wants me to be public about it. Because it was Talazar. That would be great. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the note on it says, it's not an FPS, but don't tell Griffith. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'd say, wow, that was pretty fucking fast. Oh, That's funny. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, See, I could dress like Slash and play the Slash character. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I would have to... That's funny. Oh, Grimmith, you, you've cut off... Being prepared. Good uh, job, Grimmith. You, you cut out again. Uh, well, whenever you lost your internet connection for three seconds, we became robots again. It's true. You've got to quit doing this. <laughs> Here it's going. Boop, boop. I'm, I'm not the one responsible for you losing your internet connection. Hey, I want to know who's in your picture. Oh, uh, someone actually commented in the chat. That's Johnny Cash, but a year oh. before he died. Oh, it is, but, you know, in my picture, you know, I had a a Johnny Cash shirt, and you're giving me shit about it. <laughs> well, yeah, because it clashes with everything else. Not really. <clears throat> everything would clash with those pants, SKS. 
Do you know how awesome I felt walking out to my truck to go to school that day? No, I don't know how awesome you felt. Because apparently, like I, silk. apparently yeah. I've never banana dogged it. Those pants were silk like material. It was it was breathtaking. Let me just tell you. Oh, uh, god damn it. <laughs> oh, I got excited there when uh, Calazar said that. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. I mean he... I gotta calm down. That 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 motivated me. <laughs> I read that and it was like when the wagon train went off the road in my colonization place. <laughs> I'm like, <"Aah!" laughs> everything came to a halt. And this is Grimmett, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> they know who I am! <laughs> SKS, everyone! <laughs> Banana dong is now a verb. <laughs> We've already played the break room in the game. <laughs> Calizard won. <laughs> he got me the most excited of anyone here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> if only I were a moderator, I'd time him out. <laughs> I can't. Damn it. Uh, he totally banana donged it. Yep. <laughs> Yay. When the dice said, Forn thy yonder, Forn thy yonder, Green River, River Grimmoth, and lo, he did. Oh. Yeah, that was, that was an unfortunate moment. I should have just lied. <laughs> <laughs> and said that the 1D6 didn't tell me to for the Green River. You're, you're an honest person, though. You wouldn't do that to us. I, for whatever foolish reason, I don't, I wouldn't say I'm an honest person, but I chose not to lie about that. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm secure in my Oregon Trail capabilities because I've played and beaten the game before. Yeah. Every Everyone should know you don't ford the, the Green River. It's a no-no. It is the only one that's 20 foot deep on there, it seems like. It's a possible uh, that's changed with other games. I don't know. I'm not that familiar beyond Oregon Trail 2. I just happened to have tried Oregon Trail 5 a little bit ago and... It ended up having what I remember the most about that is the black kid who comes along on the trip. It blew my mind. Why does this black kid blow your mind so much? Because of how innocent the cinematics are. Like, they're not treating it with the gravity of the situation. Like, you know, like, uh, I I'm okay with freed men who are black people coming along for the ride, but you have to treat it the fact that there's a lot of slaves. Who aren't free? Enslave! Oh, so you actually have a slave with you while you're going west. No! No! He's completely a freed, freed man. He's a, he's a black child. He's so like you're a... upset that he's not a slave? No! I'm upset they aren't regarding the severity of the racial situation. They, they act like it's completely okie-dokie. Well, maybe some people heading out west didn't care. I mean, they were assimilated in the culture better out there, especially in California and such. Right, but not in Independence, Missouri. It's where you start. Well, you know. It happens. <laughs> That's why they're like, let's get in the motherfucking thing, wagon and go. <laughs> uh, yep, we had a Shun Grimmett now. He's racist. He's going to be dressed up as I, a 20 ghost on Halloween. I, I, I thought they were already shutting me because I didn't follow you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> you forgot. <laughs> Sad. Uh, I hope that my name comes up more and more random, <laughs> random selection. <laughs> oh. Grimmins is anti banana dong. He should be shunned for it. <laughs> See, I'm anti banana. <laughs> I didn't know it was anti. I just didn't fucking understand what it was. I don't know everything. Just like SKS doesn't know everything. Bite your tongue. You said it earlier in the stream that you didn't know everything. I say many someone... things. Yes, you do. You are stupid. <laughs> you are stupid, people. <laughs> I just uh, love that. 
What what a biting, you know? <laughs> I just statement full of malice. <laughs> See, Psycho Buds, this is where I'm going to remind you. I said I didn't at the time. It was past tense. You see, in the English language, there are multiple tenses. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you take my word of the, my line of the night and give it to Grimoth? <laughs> <laughs> you assholes. <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, excuse me, princess. That was the greatest cartoon ever, and it only came out on Fridays. <laughs> I bet you Link was banana dong in it. <laughs> Why is this pertinent? <laughs> Why did this come to mind? Are you, like, thinking of, like, banana donged examples well, I'm you just can saying that, uh, you know... Like, um, who are my heroes in life? Link. Why? Because he was banana dogging. Yes. <laughs> I mean, he was in I the tight green pants. You know, Link. when I was in the zebra stripe, we're like brothers when it comes to wearing stuff like that. You just have to embrace it, Grimace. Some people can wear banana dog pants and some people can't. That's going to be my political machine 2016. Vote for me, we banana donging. <laughs> that was the dice bag. <laughs> Why are you throwing your dice around? Oh no, I, I keep the bag zipped up. I don't throw the bag dice while it's open. Oh, okay, that would be... I, don't, I wouldn't scatter them across my room like that. Fucking Calizard's trolling me. <laughs> You're pissing me off with stupid shit. Success! <laughs> God damn it. Roll a D100 to get fucked. SKS for president, he'll banana dong the country. Maybe if you use that slogan, you could actually defeat me on Political Machine. You know, we only ever played one game of that. I know. You made fun of my character with his extremely long neck. You made fun of my character, too, with his fucking bean face. Well, you know. Now I have to design a character with a banana dong. How are you going to do that? I don't know. They have the little attachments you can put on their body. Yes. I'll have to take away his neck, though. Why don't you pull that up right now, the little character creator? I want to see how you can make this happen. Because you'll forget to do this at some other time, I'm sure. You no, I'll remember. I'll write it down. <laughs> oh, yeah, you'll put it on the marker board next to... I want to see this, too. The eh, he's okay. The what? The, the, the thing you wrote down on your board over there, apparently... A, a quote from me that I gave on... Uh, it is. It's right up here. It says, Grimmeth, eh, he's not bad. Eh, he's not bad. I can't see it. What am I supposed to do? Pick up the laptop and move it over there? Yes! <laughs> do I have to think of everything for you? <laughs> it's right there. It's on Friday the 12th, or Saturday the 12th. <laughs> See it? <laughs> Why would you put that on your couch? <laughs> so I could hold it against your ass. <laughs> but it was a compliment. <laughs> eh, he's not bad. Fuck you, it's right there. <laughs> <laughs> there was a compliment. That you're not bad. Would you have preferred me to say you were bad? Oh. You go for that bad boy rep with all those fucking shitty clothes you wear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really how I normally dress. It really wasn't Rockstar Day. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you just go to school every day and dress like <laughs> There's random pants. I got some zebra stripe ones, some tiger ones, some purple ones. 
You gotta, gotta play some disco inferno every time you walk in with those sweet threads. Dun 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 You know. Fucking glide into Griffith the hallway. Has a Griffith a has a reputation to hold. He can't let the public know he gives out compliments. Um Yes, I can. I'm not doing a house tour. I don't live in a house. I'm in an apartment. You wouldn't be able to see much of the house anyway. Uh, SKS would obviously jitter while he was holding the entire laptop. Had a hard enough time reading this calendar. True facts. It's up there, though. Things I learned today. SKS is a communist cowboy rocker. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm surprised the NSA hasn't taken you offline yet, SKS. That's probably who keeps knocking me off. <laughs> You'd hope the NSA would be more effective than that. <laughs> I did have a sheriff come up to my door the other day. <laughs> he knocked well, on it, and I walked up, and I looked at the people, and he's like, uh, yeah, sheriff's department. And I answered the door, and he was like, oh, you're not the guy we're looking for. And I was like, oh, and he's like, yeah, he's black. And he just walked off. That's it? No, sorry for, you know, no wasting sorry. your time. No, sorry nope. about that. He had his hand on his gun. I was just like, that's nice. Bye. <laughs> and his hand was good. You just, like, open the door innocently. Just, like, this moment of confusion. Like, oh. They didn't ask you whether you, like, knew this individual. Maybe you were, like, living in his house or something. <laughs> well, he gave me the uh, the name, and I was like, I get some of his mail. And he goes, well, you're obviously not him, you know. <laughs> And he was just like, he's black. It's like, okay. Thanks, buddy. I'm glad Life that you didn't shoot me by realizing that I was the wrong color. It's a good <laughs> thing you were actually available to open the fucking door. <laughs> no shit, he would probably kicked it in. Was he alone, or did he, you know, like, were, like, other people behind he him? He was by himself, but I knew there was some more standing down the alleyway from him. Uh I think it kind of, it, you know, surprised him that, you know... That he had the wrong answer. <laughs> you were not the individual for whom he was looking. <laughs> Just like, so, uh, what can I do for you, officer? <laughs> well, you're not black, so you can't do anything. <laughs> he must not have been a very dangerous looking black guy, SKS. Yeah, you're probably right on that. He might have shot me if I had my. You know, CCCP shirt on. <laughs> or uh, the He Just 911 That House shirt. <laughs> I had a Cougar Hunter shirt on earlier. <laughs> officer, you want to come in and watch some of my Let's Plays? <laughs> I want to see my banana dong, Officer. <laughs> oh, I see you brought your banana dong, too. Let me show you mine. Grimmett does it so much better than me, though. <laughs> I got it from fucking Gene Simmons on those goddamn uh, Dr. Perry Cherry. Uh, Dr. Perry Cherry? <laughs> Dr. Perry Cherry. I'm tired, too. Dr. Pepper Cherry. On the chaos of Cherry Flavor. I turned it into James Hetfield, yeah. <laughs> Realtor, I don't think that's what he would say. Oh, officer, you watch Grimmett already? How to talk to police officer in front by chat. We get once again the chat is full of bad decisions. <laughs> See, he didn't knock like police normally knock. Normally they got that fist knock where it's like doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Then you I... know you're up shit creek. I've been on the other side of one of those before. This guy politely knocked. So I knew I wasn't like in super danger. Now like, I did there was get... no arrest warrant we're coming in for your ass right now. Yeah, like I did jump up and almost go grab my gun because you know I live in an apartment complex, you know when shit like that happens you just don't know. Well, um, that would have been great if you'd brought a gun to the door. <laughs> Is this Kentucky? They're probably used to it. That's probably why he had his hand on his hip, you know. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you know, you, you could explain it away. Well, I mean, <laughs> shit, you know, if I would have cocked it walking toward the door, you'd have probably shot through the door at me. That's actually a good point. He would have had reason to suspect that the suspect he was looking for was on the other side of the door. 
And so, I don't know. Exciting life. <laughs> Opens the door with an AK-47. So, so, I, I've definitely heard that knock before. Uh, it was uh, many years ago when I was a teenager, and uh, some police officers were looking for my crazy carny went to federal prison for trying to rob a prank uncle who was staying at her house for a temporary period. <laughs> Fucking just, I heard that. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I've heard that. Them open the door, push somebody out of the way, and look around at everybody, and then go straight after the person they were going at. I haven't had that experience happen to me, though. I did have police officers train a gun on me before. <laughs> oh, that's... That, oh, uh, that was a great story. You coastal, you coastal states, you all have it wild over there. I'm pretty sure I've told you that story before of how I went to, how I went to jail for a day. I don't think I've heard that one. Okay, I guess I'll tell you this story. I tell you the vibrator story, but I don't tell you this story. Okay, <laughs> the so vibrator let's, story. Let's set this up. I'm gonna take off my glasses. All right, this happened back in. I'll set the stage. Uh, it was the summer of 2009. Um, I got a temporary job over the summer for uh, for working at Walmart while they're they're doing the remodeling. It was like the uh, the second day I was working there, and I was making my way to work. Uh, get to an intersection, uh, light turns yellow, I have the right of way, there's an individual on the other side who's trying to make a left-handed turn, she makes a left-handed turn in front of me as I'm attempting to cross through the intersection, I glance her side, rear end her, we both stop, you know, pull over, we have this whole little dissertation thing, we're asking for information, and she calls her a police officer, because that's fine, that's fine, she was aggravating and frustrating me, Later, it was proved in court the accident was not my fault. I did have the right of way. We still both had to clear the intersection anyway, but I was not the fault for that. Police officers arrive. We spend a lot of time at, at the fucking pharmacy uh, right by this intersection because that's where we pulled away so that we can clear out of the way of traffic. None of our vehicles were damaged that badly. We're spending a lot of time. She's upset. There's a little kid in the back seat. He's crying his ass off. She's distraught. She thinks that I'm the one to blame because I was barreling through the intersection. Barely. He apparently is sensitive towards the kid and the mom. And instead of a punk, you know, white male from the upper socioeconomic classes, such as myself, well fed like I am. So he wants to give her the benefit of the doubt. I'm getting exasperated and frustrated because I'm like, the fuck? Now I'm going to have to explain to my bosses, my superiors, of why I missed this. You know, this is just an inconvenient for me. And so I'm like, you know what? Fine. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go by and go to my, my car. I'm going to pull out my phone. I'm going to take off the, some of this annoying crap. I got like a walkie-talkie from Walmart for part of the thing. And I have my, uh, the razor as well. You know, like the box cutter that they give you to like slide open boxes. Oh, no. <laughs> to, uh... To, uh, to open them easily, succinctly. I had that all attached to my belt, my pants and everything. And I'm taking this off and throwing it into the car. I go for the box race. <laughs> and I go to toss it into the car. I've watched enough episodes of Cops to know where this is going. And then suddenly I pulled a deadly weapon on a police officer. <laughs> Did he really take it that way? <laughs> yes! And so now he and his partner, <laughs> who's by his car, the police cruiser, have their guns both trained on me. We're at the local fucking pharmacy. I'm out here in the middle of fucking open at 8.30 in the morning, lifting my shirt and slowly rotating for the police officers. I'm handcuffed, thrown the police cruiser, <laughs> taken to the corrections facility. Kept into the afternoon when I'm released on my own cockness. <laughs> and the entire time I'm just like sitting in this fucking I'm sitting in the detention area. It's the first time I've ever been in one. And um, my thoughts going from my mind like, the fuck did I do wrong? <laughs> How am I going to take him down with the box cutter provided by Walmart? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it was uh, whenever the court date eventually arrived. 
uh, the judge who oversaw it completely threw it out. Thought it was absolutely, totally absurd, uh, the fact of things. So I didn't get charged for that. Uh, all I got was a great story, and I had to pay the fee to remove my car from impound. Because my car was put, of course, in the city impound. I'd have, made I couldn't them, I'd have drive sued it. them and made them pay <laughs> all that shit. So there you go. That's my story. I have been arrested. <laughs> I, ha I had guns trained on me. <laughs> It was great. I, I thinking back on it, I like to reflect to like the oh fuck moment I had in my brain where I thought, this is the first time in my life I have ever had people point guns at me. <laughs> How will I respond to this? <laughs> Did, were you even pointed toward them or was you like turned away from them when you was doing no, it? No, I was turned towards my car. I was putting my shit in my car. <laughs> Like, well, I don't need this box razor or walkie-talkie on my boat because so I'm not going So, here's the it. question I have. What did Walmart say? Oh, uh, Walmart completely wrote it off like, all right, you got into a traffic accident. My mom actually, you know, actually called them and said I got into a traffic accident. And it's because I was working for the, uh, the temporary rebuild team, I had completely different and nicer supervisors because they worked for the home office instead. So they're like, they're corporate types, like, yeah, whatever, things happen, it's cool, not a problem, not a big deal. They just heard car accident, got worried, like, we don't want him to get injured on the job, because that'll be even be worse. Not realizing that I got arrested, because I pulled a weapon on a police officer. That would have been a much better story for your mom to have to tell. So yes, I have been arrested, <laughs> I spent time in a detention facility, I have gone to... I almost I almost got arrested once, but you know. Uh, first time in my life it was pretty exciting. Like I have guns chained on me. Like there, here I am, Spy Master Grimmith. Like Psychobuts, I think you have something there. See, Grimmith spent hard time in a jail, and banana dongs scare him. So you know. Heard a lot of interesting talk when I was in the detention facility too. After I was, you know, forcefully fingerprinted and photographed, because everyone at the detention facility, of course, thinks I just tried to threaten an officer with a deadly weapon. <laughs> Had the, uh, the medical nurse there come in and ask me questions, like, have you thought about suicide lately? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm fucking Grimmeth, I think about it daily, bitch! <laughs> That's the answer I should have given. I, I told her the truth, like, I have, and she, like, her face, like, got white, like, recently? I'm like, no. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm the bringer of death, woman. <laughs> what, do you want to write that down on your clipboard? Because that would have helped my case. <laughs> oh. it, it also helped that uh, the officer who did that, who who was like the arresting officer who pulled me in, he didn't even show up at the court. <laughs> yeah, that's what normally happens. They do all this shit when they're on duty, and then when it comes to the court date, they don't show up. You know, and so obviously that, that got the judge, you know, angry to begin with. And of course, if the arresting officer is not there, then everything gets thrown out anyway. Like, well, see, it. they tell the officers a lot of times not to show up. Then the judge cannot punish them for bullshit that they do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my it's my interesting story. My my dad said, well, you've avoided getting arrested up to this point. So you needed one interesting story in your life. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> of all the cool things I could have done to got me arrested at a detention facility. <laughs> I don't think the box cutter incident is a great story I can tell. <laughs> That's got to be a killer at family reunions. I, 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 eh, no, the story doesn't get told. It's actually not that interesting. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I was so upset. Uh, I was testing the work my mechanic did. That's a great excuse. <laughs> uh, story, <laughs> this, this story time was brought to you by Police Brutality. No, 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 no. I suppose, you know, in retrospect, it could have been worse if I was not an upper echelon, you know, white male. <laughs> yeah, if you're black, you're screwed. Uh... The mm -hmm. LAPD. Yeah. <laughs> yes, they come out to the East Coast. 
yeah. stalk pharmacies. Yeah. <laughs> Banana baton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if I ever make a game, I want to just make banana, <laughs> banana baton wielding cops. <laughs> I can just see him chasing after somebody with that. The, the protagonist is wielding a box cutter as a weapon. His opposition. <laughs> oh. So how'd you almost get arrested as Kaz? Uh, it's called uh, public urination. <laughs> I yes. whipped out the old banana dong in an alley. That nobody oh, you see. did tell me about the story before. Yes, I remember now. Yeah, and they were going to arrest me because I had a pocket knife on me. So it's a similar situation. Oh, right, but you didn't pull it on the officer. <laughs> no, he pulled it out of my pocket. Yeah. You see, that's something stupid I could have done that would have made sense for which <laughs> You know, just add St. Patrick's Day, drinking, <laughs> urination where nobody's looking, and a cop just guesses you were doing it, and then uses the knife as a situation. Mm. So SKS is on the sex offender no, list. No, that's not even in that state that it happened. Now, if it would have been Colorado, I'd have been screwed. Because yeah. evidently, if you do it there, it is a, a sex offense. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. I figured it would either have been during your time in college or uh, while you were a bartender. For me, no. Completely innocent and carefree in college. I have to fucking <laughs> be working during the summer in a temporary job to fucking have that shit happen. I didn't do much during college. It was after college that I started doing anything. Mm -hmm. Oh well. You know what's history majors, man. Wild stallions all the way through. We are Wild Stallion! <laughs> the fuck is college? <laughs> it's that word they put on that blue sweater shirt for some reason. Institution of higher learning. I was told from a young age I had to go there in order to be successful in life. That, that's what American public schools scare you into believing. Along with uh, everyone who works at them. You can't succeed in life unless you go to college. You can't do it. <laughs> now I have so many friends who have bachelor's, even master's degrees, and are still unemployed. What the hell happened there? <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have free health care. Oh, I mean health care. <laughs> Oh, well. Those who don't remember history are doomed to repeat it. That's why history majors fuck up so much. That's right. We're, we're making our own, our own paths through life. Well, actually, I, I, I will say it was strongly emphasized throughout my public school uh, life that uh, math and science was, was the way to go. And uh, the humanities... Uh, social studies, and uh, really anything else. English. I mean, Nothing. even if you do just science and you get a job with NASA, they start you out at $70,000 teaching, like, schools that are on campus there at NASA. Whereas, you know, comparatively, you know, as a teacher starting off, you know, doing humanity shit in the public school, you might be lucky to make 40000 a salary, and that would be perhaps including loan forgiveness as well. I wish I knew what loan forgiveness was. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, we're 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 almost to the fourteen hour point. And for quite some time, SKS has been full of nothing but. I know. <laughs> I had to break the chat off. We'll just continue for the next five hours. The chat won't get to listen. <laughs> Someone mentioned Grimmith and SK should do a podcast. I'm not sure whether we actually have any themes of conversational topics. <laughs> no, it's just random blabbering. I'm not sure whether SKS and I have any genuine opinions that we need to 
Like, what is your opinion on the government shutdown? What could SKS and I tell you <laughs> that would be original insight into that? Nothing. I suppose SKS is a history teacher, and I have extensive background in history. What'd it be? I don't think the Let's Play and then the History podcast go <laughs> What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the failures of the progressive era. <laughs> all of it. All the fucking progressive era. We're going to talk about how awesome the Gilded Age is and how Boss Tammany would be ashamed of the the abuses of government today. Like the political gerrymandering. Yeah, goes, uh, James Polk's sister. I, actually, it was his wife. How handsome was she really? <laughs> Look at dive deep into this it could be we could do like the drunken history thing i would actually have to get drunk i've never done that before <laughs> you could get drunk you're the history teacher yeah i don't think that would be good for my career <laughs> what history teachers aren't allowed to get drunk that's better than you uh engaging in intercourse with your students that's true I know uh, one teacher in New Jersey earlier this week fucking jumped off a bridge. Uh, there was uh, allegations into him uh, engaging in intercourse with a student. He was 24 years old. He's younger than I am. Need a dusty bottle of whiskey. Why does it have to be dusty? <laughs> wow. I'm just curious. A dusty, <laughs> a dusty bottle of whiskey. Because <laughs> then you know it's old. <laughs> Why well, couldn't have just been smothered in dust? <laughs> like it's people fucking wipe their bottles off. I mean, shit. <laughs> I have dusty jeans. Does that mean they're old? <laughs> Better yeah, dusty than necromancer. Hmm. Yes, of course. I'm 4,000 years old, and that was the first time I ever had a gun pointed at me. I like Captain's Pete thing here. Master's degrees equal toilet paper. <laughs> I have my master's degree, and I think that uh, where I moved with it, I make I make a lot more, but because of that, I think I clear like 20 bucks more. <laughs> Which does not give me enough to make the minimum payments on my master's degree that I need. I was about to say, you, you had to take out some loans in order to get the master's degree. Yes, so I'm still struggling with that. Uh, I don't think there's master's forgiveness. Well, if only yeah, you... there are, but it's not social studies. Right. Uh... My, infinite, my emphasis in uh, you know international terrorism is not getting me anything. Oh well. <laughs> See, you you should have you should have come to the University of South Carolina. The five years, the master's in teaching program, and loan forgiveness if you teach at critical need schools. Well, in Kentucky, we have uh, like four years of teaching, and you can in the low economic status schools. And I've done that, but they keep saying, "Oh, we can't do this because uh, it's not low enough." And I'm like. I taught at the lowest, you know, congressional district in the country last year, or the year before, and they're like, well, yeah, but average-wise, it's not low enough. <laughs> it's like, what? So, does that mean that there are no low enough schools in Kentucky? <laughs> that, that's what I keep thinking, is they're just telling me that, so I'll pay so much of it. Hmm. You don't need a piece of paper to prove that you're smart. You need a piece of paper to get to paid prove. for being smart. That you're willing to kowtow to authority by dealing with all of the bullshit required to get that piece of paper. You're willing to go the distance for your boss. You got to pander to authority. Yep. They just know about your LP channel. Yeah. That's probably well, he, it. He's making enough money off of that to pay for his loan. Oh, I was making tons of money. <laughs> Why haven't you become a partner yet, Jessica? <laughs> YouTube calls me every day. We'll put it that way. <laughs> They're like, would you like to trade in your masters of teaching? And it's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Which now they've made in Kentucky, if you get your master's of teaching, it's equivalent to having a master's degree in whatever your field is, which is bullshit. <laughs> Have a nice 12-hour after. <laughs> oh, no, at 2 o'clock, I'm cutting it. We're done at 2. My ass is numb. <laughs> Well, you can stand up, and you and I will converse for the next one. <laughs> it's fine. I understand. These these losers don't have to join us. We're winners, SKS. <laughs> They're winners here. Always win. You, you have drawn all of these viewers just to hear you talk to some random dumbass on the internet, SKS. <laughs> yeah, and then you showed up. I mean, you know... <laughs> Talk to myself for hours. <laughs> that, uh, that that does a pretty sick self burn. You did a good job. <laughs> I know, I'm, good, I'm good at those things. <laughs> oh goodness! So, uh, your final thoughts on the uh, the twelve hour broadcast for that? I, it was I enjoyed very it. Like I said, I wanted to see if I could do it, and someday I would like to do it again for like. Uh, for um, charity or something. I think that would well, be awesome. Well, you know, awesome. there is that Extra Life 2013 marathon that's coming up in early November on a Saturday. That'd be cool. Yeah. You can you can broadcast for an entire day. Yeah, I don't know about an entire day, children, but... Raise money for a children's hospital near you. The St. Jude's Miracle Network in Tennessee. <laughs> in Tennessee? <laughs> Why that one? There's not one in Kentucky. There's no children's hospital. Well, we got the Shriners, but it's a little different. Oh, uh. it's because you're a Commonwealth, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you're a bastard. <laughs> uh, may a banana dong smack you in the face. <laughs> Mayor Banana Dong. Hello, I'm Mayor Banana Dong. Uh oh, Calizard's at it again. Civilization <laughs> is not a strategy game; it's a first-person shooter zombie game. Now he's trying too hard. <laughs> SK is here for our 72-hour charity stream. He, he he would need, like, multiple people to change off with. I, I No, that, that, that'd be too much effort to do by yourself. 24 hours is rough enough. I, I, I perhaps would broadcast more if uh, I had a better internet connection, but I don't. Which is why I don't broadcast anymore. Woo! I have a one megabyte upload speed. See, they increased mine up to three megabytes upload. Well, there. I, I, I see. I see why you are you started live streaming now. Because it actually makes a big difference and it works. I mean, I don't, I don't think I can ever go 1080, but I can do 720. Definitely. Definitely. So, since people are buying people games here, if anyone ever wants to give me a stipend enough to increase the speed of my internet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, we got you hooked up with a game in what, like, just like a minute or two of bullshit? <laughs> That's true. They will believe anything, SKS. They're, they're waiting till December for my unspoken live stream spectacular donation scheme that's coming up so that I could finish building the desktop and finally rock out with games like Rome Total War and all that stuff. How much more money do you need? I'm, I'm actually right about there. Um, I, on that website, people are starting to submit their uh, builds for it. And then I'll probably pick the best one and go with it. Oh, oh! You have a little topic there where you've like asked for input from people to make bills. Yeah, there's actually been some really good discussion. I've actually learned a lot reading people's. Okay. Because I've not built one for a long time, and obviously it needs to have a little bit more, you know, fizzazz than the last one. Well, yeah, of course, it needs to have some more fizzazz, and of course, it needs to be a glorious test off. How many, like, uh, how much input have you gotten from? Uh, from uh, people involving, like, how many, like, build recommendations do you have yet? Uh, I think there was, like, I've had six sent to me through email, and then uh, on the website, I think there's three or four. I'll post a link to the uh, forum. Uh, Larian thinks it's 200. That's what he posted on the chat, apparently.
What's 200? The amount of money that you need to finish accruing enough funds to build the computer. I think right now where we're sitting, the computer's probably... I mean, there's going to be that extra cost of things that I need to upgrade. Um... But as for the base part of it, it's probably done. But, you know, just the uh, paying for Windows. And then uh, people were bitching at me over the mic. You know, stuff like that. Right, of course. That's, uh, this, uh, the microphone that I bought, I didn't even buy it on sale. I was just like, I'm not going to wait for a fucking deal. And it did run me uh, close to $100. I even got a pop filter for it, too. Duh. And, and you can see how much more powerful I sound. Oh, my God. I don't but, know about powerful. It sounds clear. Yeah, it's definitely better. Did you get the stand for it so it's all professional like a radio station? It actually comes with a stand. Oh, does you, it? You, you could buy, like, a different stand, but I just have the, the standard stand that uh, it comes with. Is that one that sits in the floor, or do you got to set it on a desk? Uh, it's on my desk. Uh, I have it uh, on a, one of my Dean Koontz novels to reduce the amount of impact that is uh, made whenever I type on the keyboard. But I very much enjoy it. I had a difficult, it annoyed me, some of the, the sounds that my S's would make. And uh, once I got this uh, microphone, it's actually the first time I've uh, really been satisfied with uh, how my voice comes across. I'm, I'm genuinely happy about that now. I haven't been this happy since how booming my, my voice was with my old Zeus laptop. Chunk, 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 chunk. Yes. I uh, had to uh, do a little something. <laughs> do a little dance. <laughs> do a little dance. Make a little love. Banana dog tonight. <laughs> Banana dong tonight. <laughs> uh, very exciting. <laughs> so where is the link? Oh, yeah, you sent it up there. Okay. SKS is having trouble figuring out the spec, style, and general awesomeness of his rig. Yeah, you got a bunch of... Uh, I got some suggestions there. That was posted uh, October 4th, so just earlier this month. Yeah, and they've been going back and forth about it. Right, right, right. Well, uh, I I think your goal is certainly attainable. I think it is something that can be accomplished. You sound like Barack Obama. All right, let me be clear. Our goals are attainable. And what we need to do is a bipartisan effort, and we can make it happen. <laughs> well... The, the reason I would say that is to, uh, before you should go to bed, you should check your email. So, we must banana dong everything. I need to have just like a banana dong hour. Grimace yeah, sends I... me hot body pics all the time. He sent me a pair <laughs> once with he was in handcuffs with a box cutter. <laughs> and I was wearing my Dick Cheney Halloween mask too. It was great. <gasps> oh, you know, I saw an Obama mask at the <laughs> Halloween store. And I really thought about like getting it, and then I thought about that rodeo clown who's like banned from life for wearing it because they said it was racist. And I was just like, Yeah, I could never, never do this. Say not. And for anyone who's actually going to be, I actually did upload a video of myself back in 2010 with some of my friends. Uh, I was at a Halloween party and I was wearing my Dick Cheney uh, Halloween mask. It was actually feeding me crazy amounts of food, like some celery and shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Like cookies and stuff. What are your thoughts, Mr. Cheney? <laughs> <laughs> Bang! Bang! <laughs> 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 Oh, bang, bang, you know. <laughs> uh, you should just walk it. around with a shotgun the whole night of Halloween with that mask on. <laughs> oh, It's probably a great decision, yes. <laughs> Feed the Cheney. Feed the Cheney. I haven't worn it in a while, guys. That's, that was the uh, last Halloween party I've been to. 
I mean, I could always go with Slash for Halloween this year, you know, with the hat I have. You already wore that, though, for like the Rockstar Day. Uh-huh. Gets arrested for a box guy. <laughs> Forded down Janie's throat. Fucking Galazard. <laughs> Obama's have, care. Have you seen the new science fiction action thriller horror? <laughs> I know that I'm going to be broke when this uh, new insurance kicks in effect. I don't know, man. It might never kick into effect. What with uh, the hissy fit that uh, the Tea Party's holding. I think there's going to be a hissy fit from half the country if they don't stop. Well, it's going to be more. There's a lot of people on the left that are pissed about it now. They started getting their their numbers, and it's like, uh, why are we paying three times as much? We, uh... I'm, uh... I'm, I, I thought, like, what was going to happen, uh, and I still think it now, is that there's going to be, like, a midnight, you know, like, 11th hour, the deal done. It's going to be a compromise. No one will be satisfied by it. Because the alternative is that the United States defaults on its loans and fails to pay on them. Hey, uh... Ron Paul already told him what to do to fix that for like the next 10 years and they wouldn't listen to him. What did he say? He told him that the Federal Reserve need to tear up like uh, 3.2 trillion banknotes or whatever because that's money the government has borrowed on itself. And he said all the Fed has to do instead of making money is tear up those banknotes. That takes away like a large chunk of our debt and interest that we would have to pay and frees up the cash for everything else. Maybe we can sell the gold in Fort Knox, too, since we don't use a currency system based on it. <laughs> I bet there's probably nothing down there with smoke and mirrors. Maybe some Asian accountants. I don't know. <laughs> smoke, mirrors, and Asian accountants. It's great. Oh, man. Well, most of that trillions of dollars, I think like 90% of it is money we owe ourselves. But the rest of the world likes to say, oh, it's all China. They're like, what, 5.2% of it? Yeah, they can get fucked. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just stop selling rice to the Chinese. I mean, here's what we could tell the Chinese. Hey, we're not going to buy your sweatshop shoes anymore for a year. Let's see how you survive. But we can't survive without their sweatshop shoes. Because we buy them from Mexico. What? We can't do that. Just like oil in the Middle East. We get 68% of our oil from Canada. Fuck them. What? But what about the other 32%? Americans can't ration things. What are you talking about? That's right. We wouldn't be rationing. We'd just have to open our own reserves for a while while the rest of the world shit on itself. Reserves? If I was I the president, that... I would totally be that. I'd be like, okay, Middle East, fuck yourself. We're going to use our own oil and our friends in Canada. We're going to be nice and kiss Venezuela's ass. We don't wait, need you. Wait, 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 wait. Our friends in Canada? You? What? You can't say that. <laughs> I, I'm more friendly with Canadians than I am French or anybody. So. They're like bastard French children. I'm so confused right now. Not all of them. Some of them's British bastard children like the United States. <laughs> but all of the cities that you find in colonization are Canadian, right? Well, not all of them. No, not all of not them. them. Guadalupe. <laughs> Guadalupe. <laughs> Guadalupe. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Fucking as gay as. What a wonderful day. There we go. That's that's what I think I requested whenever I, I, I gave you that uh the money as a gift. I was like, as gay as you gotta play your original colonizations on the hardest difficulty. I need to. The original one. Right, as as France, I I requested. <laughs> no, you never requested that. Yes, I did. I wanted you to play as France. Oh my God! <laughs> you just want to see me cry, don't you? No, I don't want to see you cry. I just want to see you play as France, so they don't get eliminated from the game. <laughs> well, they might still get eliminated from the game. It depends on how well you play. So oh, could you? I, if it's anything like the other one... Like that Independence War that you played, like, you're like, oh, shit. Their, their Man of Wars get bonus? <laughs> like, fuck, they're frigates, rather. Or something like... Yeah, we'll have that there we go. You know, I could do that on live stream. 
Yeah, that's a DOS box game. I mean, you would you would be penalized because you would be extra distracted by the chat. I don't think it would be that bad. Okay, yeah, that's that's something you could do considering it's a DOS box game. Uh, you could easily set it up to have a convenient window in which to play. It wouldn't be that taxing on the system resources. Certainly plausible. Yeah, you could you could make it happen. You could uh, you could get angry as wagon trains go off the road. <laughs> Fucking wagon trains. Well, that's I call not... that the Grimoth glitch. Grimoth, that's... like all you have to do is go right up here. What the fuck? <laughs> That that is like one of the angriest moments I've ever had without actually stopping the recording. Uh, there have been a few such moments. One, of course, which while I was playing Romance uh, in Three Kingdoms Six and I had a bad day, I broke my desk. Oh my god! I uh, it was a really bad day. I was recording Romance of the Three Kingdoms Six. I was so upset and frustrated. Some random bullshit thing happened, and I said, "Fuck you!" Brought the fist down, cracked the desk. Laptop is barely hanging on for dear life. <laughs> like, slanted it off the side. <laughs> so, do you need to talk to somebody about this? And I, and I made a new temporary disc out of, like, stacked plastic containers. It's like, people hear me spouting off my frustrations and annoyances. They think that's me angry. No. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. And sad. <laughs> Me being angry is that that silent, you know, seething, fuming rage, which you thought you inspired from me whenever I gave you the silent treatment after you sunk my ship. You were. That was terrible. I was just like, <laughs> I'm going to stop the recordings and you're not talking. And then I start laughing. I declare war on you out of spite and destroy yourself. Asshole. Uh, you gave me money. You forded my city. <laughs> I will say the great part of that is when you were surprised at the Revolutionary War, like, shit, I build nothing but frickin' fuck. I know, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> All right. I think it's that time, ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. You went past 2 a.m. That's 14 hours of live stream action. Well, over 12 hours of live stream action and, and an hour and a half or so of let's talk about things that don't really matter in the world. <laughs> it's all of the breaks and the music and stuff. Before you go, did you get your email checked? No, I haven't checked that yet. I'll check it here in a second. All right. I'm just going to stop the steam here, or the steam, the stream here in a second. All right. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for setting a new record. And then upload all 14 hours to YouTube. I'll have to wait till tomorrow for uh, Twitch to email me and say that it actually archived it all. You should actually go through all the archives right now and check and make sure it's saved permanently. Um, they changed their system. Oh, they did? And now you had to check a box. And uh, what it does is like the next day, it'll email you and tell you that it's all uploaded and ready for you to edit it. Oh, okay. So... Yeah, because the first one I did, I didn't check it. It was like a day after the one I did, and so it didn't record any of the second one. Okay. That was where the Green River Massacre first occurred. I'm glad that'll always hold a special place. The, the Green, Green River. River is, oh, I'll never forget that for the rest of my life. If I ever go to the Green River in real life, I'm just going to like have a silent mourning. Yeah, like, they'll just like scream at the 20 feet of it, Why did people want me to forge you? <laughs> then I'm just going to walk into it. All right, guys. Thanks for Take coming. Care. See good. you later. Get fucked, says bye. Get fucked. No, I don't work tomorrow. I'm off for fall break for a week. That's why he actually did the broadcast on Sunday. Otherwise, he'd be crazy. This is my, my 12 hours, so a lot of people could see me. I'm an attention whore. Bye. <laughs>